All right, so uh, we're back at Glen Velvet Reviews, and uh, I just got this today, a Samsung 970 Evo NVMe uh, M.2 VNAND. Uh, I'm gonna install it in my uh, uh, Predator Helios 300 is my plan, and uh, I'm gonna have my brother-in-law help me install it. So that's the plan. You're gonna just watch this little video and see uh, amateurs install it, because we're not professionals. Uh, I'm installing this all the time, so you will you can relate to this video if this is your first time doing it. So just let me know. Uh, always comment below. Please let me know. Hopefully this helped you out because uh, that's my plan is to help you out with uh, doing an install and everything like that. So we're going to get right to it so we're not wasting any time because right now we're wasting time. And it takes a couple of minutes to install it, all right? Let's do it. Do it. All right. Here. Box that. Oh yeah, I forgot to unbox that. Yeah. All right. Well, we can unbox it in the video in a second. I should unbox it in the video. Okay, that's good. Um, you can start unboxing right? it. Right. Well, they could see it, right? So this is the what it looks like right here. So I'm gonna unbox it. I got this from Micro Center, by the way, just to let you know. This is where I bought it from. I didn't buy it on Amazon just to let you know where I did get it from. I got it from Micro Center. Uh, supporting the local stores. Supporting the local stores, exactly. That's what we like to do. I mean, I, I love Amazon. I order that. I order app from Amazon all the time. But you know, we have to support local stores. You can't be just supporting Amazon all the time. It doesn't really work out like that. I like that we got to look at this. We got to feel it. Same thing. You know what I mean? When we go there, when we go to Micro Center for everything else, I like to be able to, you know, feel my product and stuff when I'm spending a you know a lot of money on it. So I, yeah. I do agree with that. But is this the packaging right here? I don't know what those are. What numbers are those? Um, are serial models? Not, I don't even know what that is. Not, not I, don't sure. even, I don't know what those numbers are, but there's a bunch of numbers here. Uh, if you know what those numbers are, you can tell me in the bottom yeah. and then I'll know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments and then we'll, we'll know what we're talking about. So let me open this up. Any other seal? So no, that's it. It just pops open just like that. And that's what we got. Let me see, make sure it's in the camera the right way. So it's zoomed in, here it is. There it is. So it's just gonna pop out like this. And we're gonna hand this to Mr. Eddie and he's gonna take care of this. Here we go. Do you guys ever be careful with that about static or anything like um, that? Or like, really. you know how? I you never know? had a problem before. Oh, okay, all right, just so, wondering. We have because you know what I mean. Some I think not motherboard. Isn't it something that with static you can um, like usually not, when you're building a computer, there's ways to make sure that um, to remove static. Yeah. And um, but I never followed those protocols. I never had an issue. But you know, one okay. day it will happen. One <laughs> day, <feel>. will <laughs> and then you'll have regrets. But not yet. Right. Not yet. So we got one more here. So how many screws total? There is a total of 10, 10 screws. 10 screws. We okay. have one more here coming out. Hopefully. One more coming out. Are know. they all the same size? Same they are. Size. All the same size. Okay. All right. Same so size screws. They're all out. And now we have to somehow apply it to get this out of here. Oh. oh that was extremely easy. Wow. That was. That was. Wow. Extremely you did that in a second. That was really good compared to other laptops that I have opened before. Oh my gosh, that was, um, yeah, you did that in a second. That's really that good. That was awesome. Okay, cool. So something important about the Helios 300, this is the 2019 version. Um, you have your NVMe drive that comes with the laptop, 256 gigs. Let me go in like that so you can see. Yep. Okay, now um, They give you a little heat sink so you can protect it and keep it cool. Um, that's what it comes with. Um, you also get a bracket and an adapter that you can add a SSD here. Oh, and then okay. it connects there for the SATA. And somehow you uh, put it in okay. here. Okay. And then your second NVMe drive goes here. Right there. Okay, got it. So you can have two NVMe drives and one SSD. A huge amount of storage you can have on this laptop. Oh my god, that is awesome. I, re I, re I read about the cooling is supposed to be really sick, the way it cools. Yes. It, it looks computer. it looks really nice. It's supposed to yeah like running nice right through that. This laptop had extremely good reviews. Oh, that's awesome. Right. So let's um. Get so we're gonna the pop NVMe. that out. Okay. Uh, let's 
see this screw is very important to keep safe. Oh yeah, that's, that's a small one. Yeah, that's a different, a different size screw. Look at the size. That's a little one. Look at that thing. Tiny as hell. Put this right here. Look at that. Small screw. Look at that. It's even blurry. It's so small. And it seems that the heatsink that goes on top of the NVMe has some sticky substance. Oh, and that's were probably... we supposed to get anything? No. Okay, good. All. You know, you know, it's... some electronics you're supposed to get this, the paste or something. Sometime. That's for the CPU. Oh, okay. Not for a laptop. Not for the... Okay. Got I it. think they use this just to keep um, the NVMe cooler or oh, prevent okay. movement. Hmm. And basically, this comes off. It was two screws, it comes right off. Comes right off. And then we have the connector. Usually, uh, this top side, Let me you'll, see. See Let me the, go. you'll see the logo, and then it just slides in. And that's going to slide right in. Um, some NVMe drives have, instead of two connectors, you see that space. You will say that yeah, it's it has two that connectors. Space. Some of them have three connectors. You will see one space just like that over here. Oh. Don't be afraid. Just put it in there. It's going to work. It's still gonna work even yes. with that, even with a second space. Yes. Okay. So we kind of like slide it in there. I saw that on the other one, yeah, with the second space. And now we need to make sure to put that little screw in there. But I believe we have to do it this way. Oh, sticky. I believe. Yeah, I can put the first screw to keep it down without putting the hit. Without sink. putting that on. Uh, so I'm gonna go in there. My do you think they use screwdrivers at the actual factories or you think they use some kind of machine that is automatically torqued not mm. to over torque anything and um, they just go ree, 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 and they take it out i don't know that's a great question because i mean you, you can't use a regular drill you're going to kill the machine oh no, no definitely mean, not a regular drill. but i mean they you rather do maybe this manual have, or maybe they have little screwdrivers like that that have little motors in them i don't know but then that would be cool you know Real quick. Well, but anyway. the annoying part is getting the screw in there and then getting it to turn right away. Um, so they maybe do have some sort of equipment that makes sure magnetic magnetic keeps the screw it. perfectly down and then goes right in. It goes in in like three turns. This, yeah, I was thinking there's got to be a way that they speed it up. You know, they, they find a way to speed up the process. Actually, let me see something. Maybe you got to loosen it. I'm going to loosen it up gotta, a oh, little bit. Okay, so you got to loosen so, it. So that way... It slides under. It, lights, it slightly slides under. Got it. And then finish. Then do it. Perfect. All okay. Right? And then the other screw goes right here. Yeah, I'm a little cheap. That that, that set was $9.99, so it's not a magnetic. It's solid. Uh, it's okay, but it's not not you know what I mean. It's, <laughs> it's not a magnetic where it'd be, be like boom boom. Dun, so dun. that's how you install the NVMe so drive it. on that's the Helios three hundred. All um, right. If later on we do more storage, we have. I know we have this this yep. whole entire thing. Or if you the one that comes with it, it's just two fifty six. Maybe you want to change it for a terabyte or five hundred gigs, just like this one. Mm. It's up to you. All right, sweet. Like that's choices. awesome. Let's put this cover back on. See how easy this is. Around that feels solid already. Um, I'm gonna put two of them on, and then I'm gonna turn it just to make sure it looks uh, even. Even. And yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do that at work too. When I'm on the equipment, yeah, I'm always like I put one or two screws in. I make sure all the like everything's even, and then I looks even. do the rest of it. Even uh, that's it. Nope. There we go. See, this side also needs a little bit. Oh, okay. There we go. Looks perfect. Now we can continue. Nice. Oops. And then we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna make sure that we can see the storage. There's sometimes a little trick that you have to do to make it appear. Oh yeah. Um, let's see if it happens on this laptop. If it does, we is can it on show older them. laptops or it's just completely random on brand? Um, I don't know on brand. Sometimes just the desk is even the model somewhere. Yeah. Oh, so it doesn't even matter on brand. It could just be model. 
I'm not completely sure. Sometimes it just it doesn't see it and you need to go somewhere special to say this new drive, assign it a letter, and then it becomes available in Windows for mm, you to use. Okay. All right, so we got yeah, three situations. more to go. Where are the dogs? They're uh, sleeping. Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> Just funny, they're not even here. Like no one's here. Let's put up one more, right in the middle. Okay. That was pretty simple. I mean, that wasn't yeah, that wasn't that too was, bad at all, right? That this has to be the laptop that I had the least trouble opening ever. Wow. Usually, I have had to open others for work. HPs. Dells, Dells, novels. I, Dells, I bet, because I see Dells all over the place. And I had to struggle so much plying it, and yeah. Do you, let, um, do you have a question? Do yeah. the do the companies um, like Dell or whatever? Do they have special tools that they can send you out if you call them and be like, "Listen, I work on like laptops, like work on your laptops all the time. Is there a special tool that I can use to go boom boom or something that pops?" No, with, like, you just get your own plying no, plastic nothing? tools. Okay. I was just wondering if and every are. model is slightly different to open it depending on what you're doing. But that's it. why I figured maybe if you open up five different models, you get five different. Um, no, just okay. a plastic plane. Oh, uh, okay. That they squeeze. That would be cool the if the company offered you something. If they if they're like you work on Dell, you work on this. We they send you like a little toolkit that says Dell on it that helps you open up their computers. You they, know what I mean? Like they also want them want customers using them for anything. They want. Them make more money i get it i get it i just you know just, I, just, I, know, I know everything's a business i get yeah. it everyone has a business to run i get it i had some laptops that they were really bad to change anything on um you would have to in order to change the hard drive you would have to open the back remove a battery screw, screw something come back to the front Remove the keyboard and then remove this top layer. Just to change stuff Just out. Just to change a hard drive. Ew. So I will have to open the back, remove keyboard, remove this whole area. That was not in this way. It's not your doesn't you don't seem to be able to do that. It's no good. Yeah, one. maybe that's not what it's doing. Well, this one's really easy to deal with. Um, that that was really easy to open. We see where the storage is. RAM is right there if you need to add more. Um, that's legit. Um, for some reason we hung up. Do we need to plug it in or anything? The battery's not dead, right? Mm. I mean, you haven't used it in a while. I'm I haven't sure. used it in two weeks, but I but it, it would. I see lights. Oh, you wouldn't. Okay, you wouldn't. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. You wouldn't see the light, obviously, you're right? Maybe you had it in sleep mode all this time. Mm. Let's see. Hold on to the power button for a little bit. We're gonna let it go. And try again. Alright. Oh. Love that when it turns on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Loading windows. Looks much better already. That was it. Oh, All so right. it just needed a reboot. So yeah, okay. I guess it maybe it was you last time you used it, you didn't turn it off. Maybe you <laughs> closed the lid. It was two. It was like two weeks ago. Yeah. So, so I mean, uh, <laughs> you want to enter the pin? Well, what's the pin? Your the password you set up when when we first unboxed it. What? Didn't I tell you it? Um. I don't remember. Well, we got a problem then. <laughs> no, are you serious? Yeah, you, I didn't. No, I could have sworn I told you it. No, 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 really? No? No. I could have sworn I, I told you when we set it up. You no? Think, you think I was going to remember your for the your pin? Because. What's it? Your date of birth? I no, <laughs> no. I thought it was our address. Oh. Maybe it wasn't that. I thought it was the address, our address. 
I'm not sure if I hit it. That was it. <sighs> Scare the crap out of me. All right, we're back in. I don't know. I was like, I knew, I thought, I, but I knew I told you though. I remember I was <laughs> like, oh, just use this. All right, so we're opening computer, this PC, and yeah, we're not seeing the storage. So this is a great learning opportunity. Um, right now, we're gonna right click the Windows Star menu down here. Oh, I got the Discord already on there. <laughs> yeah, I installed it last time. I still got to install WoW, right, though? Yes. I got to download that. Things. That's going to take a little bit, right? Um, so we're going to right-click the Store menu, click on Disk Management, and now we're going to see if it's detecting... Yes, it's detecting the other drive. So we're going to say OK to that message. Uh, we're going to right-click Disk 1. Uh, Simple volume. I'm just gonna hit next, next, next. It automatically assigns it a letter. And now, if we go back to this PC, there it is. Sweet. And we're in business. So, so, so any brand computer can do it, no matter how new it is. Yeah. It might not recognize it, and then you have to do what you did. Okay. Why is it like that? It's just. I think it's There's just no Windows. Explanation or it's Windows. Itself. Windows detects that hey, is this is a new hard drive. No one has ever used it. There's no data. It doesn't know how to how you want to use it. You said some computers will see it. I have seen some computers will you just plug it in and it will detect it right away. And I wonder why that is. And just wondering like the differences of what like what they written in their thing that it's like you know picks it up and then it doesn't. So. Yeah. All right. So. That's a little review of us installing it. So we didn't see it, but now we do. There it is, 465 it says, even though I paid for 500. That's normal when it's a I know, I know, me. I know. That's normal with life. <laughs> that's, get, that's with life. A little not bit just, less. Not just, yeah, the, the hard drives. So everything you buy, you don't get what you really get. But anyway, here it goes. I, here's the screen up front so you guys can get a little idea. It's 144 hertz. I don't have any games playing, but you know, so you guys get an idea. So we installed it and hoping this is gonna work out. I'll do more videos later on. Um, like I said, please let me know if this helped uh, with you. Subscribe to my channel. I put reviews on every Saturday, uh, sometimes Wednesday if I have more reviews, but I aim for every Saturday just cause I can't buy stuff every week, uh, every day. and show off i don't have that kind of money but anyway um that's it so yeah thank you for watching everybody please comment below let me know i really hope this helped you out just like it helps me when i watch other videos and you guys have a great day enjoy say bye eddie later